here today standing up for my future. Um, my dad drives a log truck so I'm here to support. I'm saving my dad's job because what's going to happen when he has no job, we have no money, can't have food on the table. By January 1, 2024, the native timber industry in Victoria will come to a close. Around 4,500 direct jobs will be lost, an industry worth $1.42 billion per annum, the lifeblood of many towns. These are residents from Hayfield in Gippsland. They want you to understand their fight. This is what this means to this community, you know. This is the people that work hard every day in the bush. Hundreds have come out, galvanised by local Mick Harrington, some hoping the decision could be reversed. It is not just about ash and the workers. Um, it is, it's got such a huge ripple effect. They were told the industry would transition in 2030. They never expected this deadline. We were told it was going to be a transition into plantation, which we fully accepted. No one at, at the mill knew. It was, yeah, an absolute disgrace. You know, timber towns don't grow back, trees do. This plan to close our industry early is a plan to kill country towns. Towns like Orbost, Powelltown, Hayfield. And at the, this point, people are just considering taking their families and moving somewhere else. The only way to get this done. There's a lot of anger over how the state government yep. has handled this. Local leaders meeting with the group, the mayor, the mill CEO and federal MP Darren Chester kicked out of parliament after taking the message to Canberra. Why do you hate timber workers so much? Oh, no. Residents have tough questions. I want to know what the opposition business plan going forth, not only for them, but the little kids that are sitting here too, what their future is. An hour and a half away, and this is what contractors want to share. Most have logged the same areas their grandfathers did, generations of proud Gippslanders. Not just a job, it's a passion that you love doing, day in, day out. I remember going um, with Grandpa in, in his truck. Every school holidays, I'll be, I'll be sitting next to Dad. Dave and Luke Blackwood can trace logging in their family to 1890, a tradition Luke wanted to pass to his daughter, Delilah. She loves it. She knows she hears the truck coming in the driveway over night time. I've waited for years for that. These guys are tough, but they're struggling. Uh, yeah, if my wife can get me to talk. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the hardest part. You know, I don't want her to see me upset. I don't want, to, I don't want my daughter to see me upset either. After native hardwood is logged, the area is burnt. It then regenerates itself. 80 years later, the process starts again. Yeah, as you can see, this is like 12 months old. It's all grown back. It's sustainable, it's renewable. And if the inner city people really, really knew how, how we do it out here, you know, I think they, they would be amazed. A bitter pill to swallow across the border in New South Wales, the industry continues in Tasmania too. If it all ends, hardwood will be imported. They don't work under the same high standards we do environmentally and they don't regrow the trees as well. Why not have it here where it can be well regulated and we can look after our communities as well? Some environmental groups have celebrated the closure, in fact they campaigned for it. The state government has told the Today Show ongoing court processes and severe bushfires have spurred the decision, insisting a transition support package of more than $875 million will ensure workers find jobs across land management and critical forest bushfire response while retraining others in growing regional industries. The areas struggling with you know the power station shutting down and all those sorts of interest, industries and you know you just wonder where the jobs are. Two and a half thousand mm. people in this town how many jobs do you think are offered? Mm. At the end of the day all we want to do is go to work and do what we love. These Gippslanders say they'll continue to fight. This can be done in a sustainable way. I know this community and we will fight. That hope's something to hold on to, especially for kids like Indy, reflecting on her dad. Yeah, my hero. I, take, I want to take after him and work in the logging industry when I'm older.
This is a region that has done it incredibly tough. We know, of course, that Gippsland has gone through bushfires, through COVID, the closure of the power industry and now the closure of the timber industry as well. I've lived in Gippsland. I've worked in Gippsland. I can tell you these communities are so strong and you can see that from those residents there in that piece, from people who have lived in those towns right throughout Gippsland for decades. They are so passionate and they've seen so many people leave just looking for work. You heard young Ollie there at the start getting really emotional thinking about his family about his dad and about his community they want to stay there they want to live there but the real fear is that those towns right throughout regional Victoria they could be wiped off the map if there's no employment and there's no support they want answers they want support and they certainly want politicians to go out and speak to them I can tell you this they will keep up their fight they will band together and do what they can to support their local community communities and their way of life. Such a powerful piece, yeah. uh, Isa. Thank you so much for bringing that to our attention. Um, and just watching that, I mean, you just you saw the tears from that young fellow. Yeah, it's hitting home, isn't it, for so many of them? It just penetrates every part of our society. And, and you, you think the kids and you try and shield your mm. kids from these big things that are happening in your family, but the people of Gippsland are going through a lot. Well, you can't fast track something by six years and expect no, them to just agree. be ready to, to transition. I mean, it's impossible. How does that happen? And you, what do we do? We then import. I mean, we've got all these yeah. resources. Let's do it sustainably. Um, let's let's make it still happen. Yeah. And Every in industry meantime, is going overseas. Mm, in the meantime, these families are left to pick up the pieces. The fight goes on. We'll yeah. be there every step of the way with you, Gippsland.